This tea house must be popular. It seems like quite a prominent structure. Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. You've got unfinished business with us first. Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. Legendary strike! You certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. We can get back to business. Sun Lee gave me instructions to await you if... if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Li asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prized pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of old Tien's landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the spirit monk amulet too. The Emperor is privy to much. I don't know his motives. But any aid to you is likely a threat to him. You must go to the ruins and find the amulet piece meant for you. I choose to believe that my service was valuable and vital. You would have come here eventually. The amulet would draw you at least. It is coming on 15 years now. As I said, I learned the location of the amulet after the monk died in Old Tien's. It has been difficult serving and waiting in silence. My assignment is to give you information to help you acquire the amulet. I will gladly answer whatever questions I can. I only know that I had to find the piece I was tracking. I did so. It is in the ruins. 
You must find it before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to help your master. The gates leading to the ruins are locked, but Minister Shang can give you the key. You can find him in the town square, the highest point in Tian's Landing. I suspect the minister is eager to have someone investigate the opening of the Great Dam. You can use this as an excuse to get the key and explore the ruins. You are wise to ask. It is a difficult but essential skill to master. Spirit Thief is always useful. It is common to get run down or injured during battle, and you can tire yourself even further concentrating your chi to aid yourself. When you are feeling such a drain on your resources, switch to Spirit Thief, and each successful blow will restore you slightly. The drain will not hamper your opponent, however. If you power through an opponent's guard with its strongest attack, it can briefly immobilize an enemy. During this, you can concentrate and increase the restoration. If you use that time to attack with another style, be careful. Your opponent may not be as vulnerable as they seem, and one must never be overconfident of victory. My assignment is to give you Pirates have raided local villages using flyers, swooping down like locusts. Minister Shang said he would stop them, but his promises have done nothing. You can find Shang near his still smoldering office in the center of town. I'm sure he will welcome your assistance, even if your reasons are your own. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. There are ghosts wandering the land. I won't leave my house after dark.
pretty. Who up aware soon work for near work? Uxiers are fit cook cup was arkier. Put that sword back, lout. Surely there was never a minister as unlucky as Minister Shen to suffer such insolence. Kuni on you Tashika wheel for your south Arab horny? And still poor Minister Sheng suffers the insults of tradesmen who know nothing of justice. Where would I put the lout? My jail has been burned to the ground along with my office, I might add. I have no place to put thieves, so stop questioning your betters. Koni o nuyu, koke ir tatasinan, sun puno o nuyu si ir tai kunpa i banano pier ni wonun. Wono ir efu ir uk sun nordfoni al si ir sisitu, sata afso ir, uk napier ani ir ninpi ir. Owo sa ir u yukab tantarundano, wo o tarwa ir shafir owo. Wo kauso ir no ka wo wo tarwe il shaksi iru finu pifu. Wo no ir efu ir uk su nord fun ir si ir si situ. Sata afso ir uk nap ir ani ir nien pi ir. Uso si ir uthak tarwe ir shafir o wo su. Wo kwaer ano uyu kubke thir soso waweer wakwakir tower wo. Wo kauso ir noka wo wo tarweil shaksiro fino pifu. Will none of you break? Finally, someone approaches me. I was worried that this town's courage had drained away with the water. You seem a woman who knows her way around a battlefield. Are you willing to put those skills to the test? Not personally, no. On behalf of Lord Yun, I'm here to find a skilled warrior who can deal with a unique problem. The Great Southern which lies north of this village, suffers from a terrible disease. Every tree within its borders sickens, and the place is infested with ghosts of all manners. If we did, would I be here? Lord Yun, my master, seeks a way to open the forest again and make it safe for travel. He is prepared to reward whoever aids him. Our men are no match for the ghosts in the forest. Perhaps you are. You must leave Tien's Landing via the gate and follow the roadway to the north. The forest is but a short journey away, and Lord Yun makes his camp at the base of a hill, which should be easy to find. The path there is relatively safe, but travel beyond his camp and things worsen considerably. Go safely, and remember what I've said. Lord Yun needs the help of able warriors like yourself. It is not easy to be Minister Shane, beset with troubles and doom, and now interrupted by some difficult stranger. But truly, can you not see that I am busy watching my career slide into oblivion? Minister Sheng simply hasn't time for your petty concerns. I have problems of my own.
You what? Insolence! My career is on the line, and you want to talk about something else? Look about you! This backwater pimple of a town lives off of the lake created by the Great Dam. But the Great Dam is open, and the lake is dry. The town is dying. Under my supervision! Who cares about that? The Great Dam was opened by... No, I cannot say it is too dangerous. Unless... Very well, you've convinced me it was that horrible Inquisitor Lim. Lim oversees the Lotus Assassin operations in this area. A few weeks ago, he came to town and demanded a key to the ruins. Then his men went up there and opened the Great Dam. Inquisitor Lim has his assassin searching for something, though what it is I couldn't say. Minister Sheng knows better than to stick his nose in the business of the Lotus Assassins. I didn't want the town to panic, so I kept Lim's presence here a secret. Better the peasants think it was ghosts. A much less terrifying idea. Some brave soul must travel through the old ruins, which are absolutely not infested with ghosts, and close the Great Dam. The gate to the ruins is locked, but I have a key. I cannot order or even ask someone to go do this. If the Great Dam closes, the ruins will flood. Various assassins and soldiers will be killed. Not good for my career. But if I happen to lose the key and someone happened to find it, the town could be saved and the problem solved without any sanction from me. Think about what? I don't know what you're talking about. So, stranger, is there anything else Minister Shane can do for you? Perhaps I could direct you to the historic ruins of our old town, which lie across the footbridge and out the west gate. Certainly a sight worth taking in. Strictly for interest's sake, of course. Minister Sheng remembers when flyers were reserved for the wealthy elite of the Imperial City. Now pirates use them to raid the countryside. Disgraceful. I suppose in theory you could find a flyer at the pirate camp upriver. In practice, however, I doubt you would find the pirates very accommodating. I suppose Rue the Bosun is mad enough to take you if he's drunk. Hmm, yes. Yeah. Rue is surely the only one who would make the trip. And then the pirates would kill you. Rue announced three days ago that he was going to close the Great Dam, but first he stopped at the tea house for a bowl of wine. As far as I know, he's still there. Pirates are just one more affliction that plagues this troubled town, and yet another headache for poor Minister Shane. They raid the surrounding countryside, swooping down with their flyers to capture slaves. Do you know how bad it looks when someone under my jurisdiction is captured by slavers? Fortunately, they haven't attacked the town itself yet. Gao, the man I hear is running them, knows that would draw too much. I believe that was his name. Gao. An unsavory character by all accounts. There are even rumors he is connected to that infamous crime syndicate known as the Guild. The pirates have been operating in this area for many years, or so I was told. However, things became much more serious when Gao took over. The pirates started using flyers and gathering slaves at an enormous rate. 
I imagine things are very unpleasant over at their camp. Not that I'm willing to go take a look. But the only approach is by river, and no sane bargeman would be willing to risk such a journey. Sane people don't go looking for the pirates. They avoid them. I suppose Rue the Bosun is mad and... Yes? This is bad. Oh, this is bad. River dried up. Pirates everywhere. <laughs> yeah, get on with your day, youngster. We're just past... Okniko fia apania sasa tatasi no ni nano yok yo wea sonsi ya wo yo wea. Nico fear apania sasa tatasi no ni nano yok yo we are sonsi ya wo yo we are ni wupa ya kupu sa ya erwath kraka ya nano uksaro iso wak nikano wo napia shatia uko ni wo sosa wa ya wak tasi no ni nano yok napia ifa ya ok Ni wupa ea kupu sa ea erwath kraka ea nano uksaro iso wak nikano wo napia shatia uko. Ok niko fia apania sasa tatasi no ni nano yok yo wea sonsi ea wo yo wea. Wo noa ea sususa tia sonsi fania sonsi ifo. Be seriously considering this, dooming the entire town for a few pieces of silver? Niwo sosa wa ea wa tasi no ni nano yoka napia ifa ea ok. Kud kose wiwa ya, wo nao hea ifa uya ota wiki no. So are we in the Oxenpool? Utatsa ya okayowe ya fonia sisa ya trusta pafawe ya towia. Our utkua wo kokopia kawa. Hello, young one. My name is Quan, but everyone calls me Old Mother Quan. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was, welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Dutong came to town with that Imperial Whip. Oh my, wasn't that a shock? 
Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. He was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Du Tong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. Now why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. No, I'm sure the land belongs to Master Du Tong. It's very nice of you, my child, but what could you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but it belongs to Master Du Tong now. You can't argue with an imperial writ. All this talk is just the rambling of an old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. If you want tea, have a seat. The serving girl will be by directly if I don't fire her first, a useless wench. I should have replaced her the day I took over this tea house. I am Three Sheets Dutong, proud owner of this quaint little tea house. I recently acquired it from old mother Quan, the elderly lady steeping tea over there in the corner. Oh, certainly. The Imperial Red is 400 years old, and I just carry it around with me all the time and show it to complete strangers. Please. The writ is locked in the way, as I told Mother Quan. I'm not about to bring it out on your request. Now, if you will just leave me to my drinking. What a truly horrible thing to say to me, especially when I'm sober. The very notion that I, Three Sheets Dutong, could do such a thing is, well, it is unthinkable. You want me to teach this troublemaker a lesson, boss? Don't be an idiot. You saw what happened in the fight with those sailors. I don't need you lying unconscious on the floor. That's my job. After Steeper Yanru brings me my wine. Your accusations grow tiresome, stranger. You have no proof that I cheated old Mother Quan, and I don't see any reason to continue our conversation. So thank you, and goodbye.
Hello again, dearie. I hope you're having a nice time here in my... That's sweet of you, but there's nothing I could tell you short of how to steep an iced tea. Don't waste your time gabbing with old Mother Quan. Oh, of course I do, dearie. It was all I ever had. No children of my own. But it's Master Dutong's tea house now. You can't argue with an Imperial writ, you know. Be sure to have some tea before you go. I have a special blend that combines... Oh, I forgot. Master Dutong spilled wine all over it. I'm sorry. Never mind. Hello! Greetings! Welcome! My name is Steeper Yan Ru, and I'll be... No, that's not right. Not right at all. Idiot! I'm Barkeep Yan Ru now, not Steeper Yan Ru. I'm sorry about that. I still can't get the hang of this new position. Sometimes I wish Old Mother Quan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. That Imperial writ has caused us no amount of grief. Mother Quan lost her tea house, waitress Yan Wan is busier than ever, and I spend all day giving out foolish advice. Mother Quan saw it, though her eyes aren't too good. Most of us didn't bother to give it a look since hardly anyone in the town can read anyway. What? You mean it, it wasn't real? That means Mother Quan should still own the tea house. Problem is, Dutong's already shown everyone the writ, and now he's got it locked away. If you're right, he'd never bring it out again. There's no way to prove he cheated Mother Quan. That might work. It would probably help if you get him drunk first. That's something I can help you with. Dutong's always having me send over wine. Usually I mix it with water so he doesn't get too drunk too fast, but I could start sending it to him unmixed. It won't be quite that easy. I've watched Dutong for quite a while, and when he's drinking, he usually goes through three stages of drunkenness. Dutong gets very friendly when he starts to drink. You might get a confession out of him then, but I doubt it. He's not really all that drunk at that stage. Usually after about seven bowls, he slips into depression and sorrow. He complains about how his life is worthless and what a bad and sinful man he is. Not a pretty sight. By the ninth glass, he starts to get paranoid. You can't really talk to him then. Usually around that time, I try to slip a restorative potion into his glass to sober him up. The restorative tastes pretty foul, but it does the job. Works instantly and makes a man sober as an imperial judge. Dutong's guard keeps a vial handy at all times, just in case. The guard gave me a few vials so I could slip them into Dutong's wine when he starts to get paranoid. Keeps him from getting out of hand. No problem. We have two sorts of wine here. Peasant's wine and imperial seasoned spirits. The peasant's wine is pretty weak, but that's usually what Dutong drinks. The imperial seasoned spirits are a lot stronger. One bowl of that is worth three bowls of peasant's wine. And if Dutong gets too drunk, I have the restorative to sober him up. One drink for Master Dutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? One drink for Master Dutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? One drink for Master Dutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? Good, good. Go speak to Dutong. If he's not drunk enough or if he's too drunk, 
Come back and see me, and I'll mix him up another drink. We'll get him to admit he's a cheat and a sneak. Then old Mother Quan will be back in charge, and I won't ever have to give out another bit of bad advice. What do you want? You come to mock me? Come to laugh at the tragedy that is the life of Three Sheets Dutong? No, not the writ. Let's not talk about that. It's my secret shame. The thought of that writ brings tears to my eyes. It tears at my poor, miserable soul. No, please, just leave me alone. I'm a bad man. A bad, bad man. I don't deserve friends. Just, just go away. What do you want? No. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Confess my sin. Then I'll feel better. Oh, I'm a despicable person. A bad, bad man. The rent, it's a fake. A forgery. I made it all up! Boss, what are you saying? I, I better sober you up. God, oh, God! Oh, I hate that restorative potion. Oh! That stuff tastes like vomit baked in a glaze of goat hair and garnished with a sprinkling of horse dung. And now I have the strangest memory, as if I... Oh, no. Did I... Did I say anything to you, stranger? Anything about... Oh, I don't know, uh, an imperial writ? What? No, I never said any such thing. I heard what you said, Dutong. I knew you cheated Mother Quan out of this place, and now we have proof. You can't get out of this now. Ah, I see what you're after. Oh, yes, Three Sheets Dutong was not born yesterday, or the day before that. Indeed, we are speaking the language of commerce. I will give you a great deal of silver to keep this little secret from getting out. Lots of silver for both of you, if you keep quiet about this. I... I don't know, Dutong. I could really use the silver, but Mother Quan is such a nice old lady, I... I'm just not sure what to do. Right, of course. What was I thinking? Old Mother Quan's a good woman. She deserves to have her tea house back. Uh, uh, boss? People aren't gonna like us when they find out what you did. Maybe we should get out of here. That's the smartest thing you've said since I hired you. Let's go. Well done. It'll be nice to have old mother back in charge again. You should tell Mother Quan she got her tea house back. Now things can go back to the way they were. I knew you would make the right choice. We share the same master and he taught us both well. Hello again, dearie. I hope you're having a nice time here in my... I mean, in... Uh, a forgery, are you certain? That, that scoundrel! No wonder he left here so fast! Cheating an old woman out of her hard-earned living, the very nerve! People, listen to me! Master Dutong has left! Brave young lady exposed him for the fraud that he was. The tea house is mine again. Hooray for Mother Quan! Her tea house is back in business. You've given me back the only thing I ever cared about. And you've done a service for this town, too. I'm going to turn this place back into a respectable quality tea house. I don't have much. The only reward I can offer is my humble thanks. That, and a promise that you will always be welcome here at Old Mother Quan's.